Before we start, please take into account that Arkenforge is a very robust piece of software. The way I use it is in no circumstances the only way to do it. It is far more flexible and allows various techniques to achieve the same goal. Also, in these short clips, I focus on the map making part of Arkenforge, but it is far more advanced with its own soundscape and encyclopedia models, and many, many more. I encourage you to experiment with the software yourself as much as you can. Hey, this is Timor Soul with another video about Arkenforge and the new features that you can use inside the software. Now, one of the more often uh, stated questions or things that I see asked about uh, in Discord or other places is how to make bendy walls. Now, this is actually very easy and very intuitive. Um, you just need to take a wall and build it. I'm going to use one of the uh, modular sets, um, one of the modular walls from uh, Dungeons Deep, which was an absolutely blast of pack uh, from last year. Let's use the vampiric castle wall. Uh, maybe we'll just leave this um, or we can build on this. Uh, I'm going to choose the line and straight line. Let's hold our control key. Uh, so it snaps the grid. You can see how the square over here, instead of moving freely, it snaps to the grid, actually to a few points on the grid, which is additionally nice. Um, I'm going to put one piece here and holding my mouse, dragging all the way over here, releasing it, and that's it. Right click to release. No, oh, sorry for that. Right click for release uh, and pick the wall. You can see there's a there are there's one two three points over here. If you pick the middle one, it will stick uh, to your uh, mouse, and you can create a really grand uh, curvy wall. Now it also snaps. So if you again hold your control key and push it towards this edge, you should be uh, fine with building a perfect half circle. Um, now, I already see that this is not going to be a perfect half circle. Why do I see it? Because I didn't put uh, the ends of this wall in perfect places. Let's do it again, just uh, to make it how it should be. I'm going to build it like this. I can hold my control key and push it all the way here. Now this is what I am talking about. Let's copy this wall, paste it, and we're going to rotate it. And you can see that we did mess a little bit up. It's more of an ellipse than a, than a, a perfect circle, but it works. We could just go like this. I believe this is a perfect circle, but this is not the way you build a circle in Arkham Forge. If you want to build a circle like this one, you go into your line options and you select the circle form. Now, this has one disadvantage when you use it. Um, if you want to be, build a circle from an asset like this, there's always, I'm holding control by the way, just you know that uh, it's uh, why it's snapping. The circle tool always has a little point on one of the edges that does something like this. There's a little V uh, on the edge of this, uh, on one of the parts of this circle. What I usually do to make this little V go away, go away is I copy the asset, I paste it, I rotate it, and put it on the same spot. Now. What this does is it makes, you see the little V over here? The only way you can distinguish that it's over there is the small shadow over here. And if you have players that are so perceptive, I mean, you probably could just have a hidden room over there and give them a blast or something. They deserve it. But for me, uh, these two tools are sufficient enough to build a really, really decent 
a decent circle. And one more thing, last thing that I want to show you when we are stuck, since we're talking about circles, let's go into tiles and let's check, uh, well, let's go with DC tile. Again, I'm going to go into line, circle, and what I'm going to do is again, a little bit strange probably, but with this tool, you can also build circular uh, uh, floor patterns like this one. Um, you could choose different um, different li line widths. So you could just go into the circle again and use, uh, let's say, 175. You can see that the line width uh, changes how many um, of the artistic pattern you get on uh, on the circular uh, floor. Now a better way to do it would be obviously to use the polygon tile tool, uh, but there are instances in which you will uh, want something like this. Um, if you put another circle, first circle on this one, let's go back to one, like this for example, you understand that this type of patterns are appealing in some specific uh, scenarios and some specific um, some specific plans that you might have for your uh, for your game again to make the V go away I'm just gonna copy another asset the same asset above this one the small V is over here it's barely barely visible uh, so I wouldn't wor worry about that at all and pushing the wall all the way up.